Alright, hey guys, what's up? This is Callus Hacks here, bringing you guys another Art Gauge video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best place slash best way that I have found to farm for stone and iron. Now, where you want to go to do this is you want to go to Red Moss Cave in White Arden. Now, this zone is level 23. However, do not be fooled. Um, the mobs in this cave are very, very easy. Um, I started doing this around level 17, as this place is level 23, and I had no problem fighting the mobs. I'm now about level 30, and I can kill the mobs in one, one hit. So, do not be turned away if you are lower level. Um, do not be turned away because of the intimidating big numbers. Well, not really big numbers, but big numbers to a lower level. I promise you that mobs are very easy. So, you can do this any level, level 1 to 50. Um, Arc is pretty cool like that. It doesn't limit you to certain zones at certain levels. You can go wherever you want, whenever you want. Um, now, what's special about Red Moss Caves is there is just ore everywhere. Um, I originally stumbled upon this place in a quest, and you do uh, accept a quest to go in here at some point. However, most people do tend to just bypass the ore because it's really kind of hard to spot, you know, like you don't really see it unless you're looking for it. And so a lot of people just kind of run right past it and just do the quest and get out. Um, however, if you take a better look around, there is ore everywhere. Like every two feet, there's just another ore deposit. And there's actually, I don't really want to say a secret room, but you do have to take a glider up into it. So if you don't have a glider, eh. There is another way to get into it, however, there's usually a ton of players in that little area, and it's, uh, anyway. The easiest way to get up there is, in the, is by a glider, and, um, you just kind of, you fly up into there, and it's kind of like this little, just this little circular room, and there's just ore everywhere, and that's not it, like, there's just, it's all over the place, is what I'm trying to say, it's all over the place. Um... The cave, as you can see here on screen, if you look up in the mini-map, the cave itself is in like a circular shape, so that makes it really nice to be able to just walk around that circle and as you go just pick up iron. Um, don't be afraid to go off the path though because there is usually some iron in the little like rivers and stuff inside this cave. Um, so the average run and when I say run that is just one rotation around the circle in the cave one run if I was doing it by myself if I was the only one in the cave uh, like farming for stone and iron I would usually get around an average of 120 stone or no 120 iron and 100 stone however with other players in there at the same time as me uh, farming which there usually is around like the afternoon and stuff because there's, that's when most people are on. I found it's the best time to do this would be in the morning or later at night whenever there aren't as many people on. Anyway, when there are other players in there mining, um, I usually get around 80 iron and, sticks, and 60 stone, which is not bad, not bad at all. Um, every run will take you around 10 to 15 minutes maybe at most depends on how many times you've done the run and um, like how used you are, how used to the run you are and your ability to avoid aggroing mobs which you might need that because there are a lot of mobs in this cave but like I said earlier they are very easy so you don't have to worry about that um, the respawn rate of the stone and iron deposits is very fast by the time you complete one run you can restart immediately onto your second run because it's all already respawned it it responds very quickly. I've spent full days, just like full days real time, just going around in this circle mining for iron and stone. And by the end of the day, I was getting up like over a thousand, like over a thousand stone and iron. It was crazy. It's also a good place to mine for more rare uh, ores, such as gold, copper, uh, stuff like that, silver. It's also a good place to get for that because obviously that is just by chance, and so obviously the more you have, or the the more, yeah, the more ore deposits you have, the better chance you have to get those rare ores. Um, so that really does it. Actually, it's pretty simple. Uh, let's just go ahead and do a recap here. Location is Red Moss Cave in White Arden on the Nuian continent. 
level you can do this any level level 1 to 50 uh, mob difficulty is very easy very very easy the average income per run is usually 120 iron ore and 100 raw stone and repeatable yes very much so very repeatable you can do this all day and you can't really you know just kind of go AFK while this happens kinda of like in RuneScape you could do that but you do have to be sitting there controlling your character going from ore to ore but still very very repeatable very easy to do this so well, yeah if this helped you at all in the slightest go ahead and hit the like button maybe even favorite possibly even subscribe um, this is just the way that I have found is easiest there's obviously probably like tons and tons of easier and more efficient ways to do this however as of right now this is seems to be the best way to do it uh, to me at least so uh, yeah I want to thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like favorite subscribe all that jazz and I will see you guys in my next video